28. Okay. All right. Call them out for me there. All right. So now, yeah, looking at it, but that's the opposite side of that. It's the smaller one, so you're going to have to compare it, I think. All right, let me draw it out and be sure. All right, so you got 40 degrees. A little bit here is 42. All right, where'd you put your C at? This one? Okay. So this will be C. Little C is 60. This will be A. And little A. So the biggest side is not across from that acute angle. That means I'd have got to compare this to 60 times sine of 40. Okay. So 42 compared to 60 times sine of 40. Please be less than. Please be less than. Please be less than. Okay. All right. That's 38.5. Oh, crap. All right. That's a greater than. All right. So that means we're going to have two triangles. All right. So let me draw my second one. Right. Less than means you don't have any triangles. No triangle. If it's equal to, you have one. Okay. And then, of course, our favorite, this one. All right. So let's see. 60, 42, A. All right. Let's start with this one over here. So whatever angle I find first here, I'm going to subtract from 180 and get the corresponding angle. So which angle is it that I'm going to be able to find? Yeah. Right. Angle C right there because you got 60 to find it. All right. Now let's set the one up where we know. So we get 42 over sine of 40 equals 60 over sine of C. Okay. All right. Let's cross multiply. So we get 60 times sine of 40 equals 42 times sine of C. All right, let's solve for the C. So let's get rid of 42. And then after we divide this, we'll take inverse sine of whatever this is to get rid of the sine. You did? I'm going to go ahead and finish it because I'm taping. All right. So you don't have to watch. All right. So let me punch it in now. And I'll go ahead and work it out, you know, just in case you miss something else, too. All right, 60 times sine of 40 divided by 42. That, so we can do inverse sine. Uh-oh. There we go. All right. So we get about 66.7 degrees. Yes. Um, I don't think so. Let me come look at it in a minute and I'll see. Okay. I, I think that would be okay, but I'm not like 100% sure. All right now, so once I get this one, immediately find C prime by taking that out of 180. So 180 minus that, and that gives me C prime over here. It's 113. Point three degrees. All right. Now we can find both angle A's. It's going to be one thirteen point three plus forty, and then subtract that from one eighty. So twenty six point seven degrees there. All right. Let's find this one over here. So forty plus the sixty six point seven. And then subtract it from 180. So 73.3. Okay, now we got to find A in both of them. So I can add my A one over here. A over sine of 73.3. All right, and let's, let's cross multiply there. So A sine of 40 equals 42 times sine of 
Let's move to divide both sides by sine of 40. Okay, so 42 times the sine of that divided by sine 40. All right, so we get there to 62.6. All right, now let's find the other A over here. Okay, so let's set up that same given proportion there, 42 over sine of 40 equals, we're looking for A, so we're going to do A over sine of 26.7. So we get A sine of 40 equals 42 times sine of 26.7, so divide by sine 40. So we got 42. All right, divided by sine of 40. Okay, now that was all of the two triangle problems. Thank God. So you can't ask me any more of those. Uh -huh. I guess except for the sheet you're doing today. All right. Yeah, just a second.